Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. I wanted to, today to give you a kind of a July update video. Uh, to start off, we've received a bunch of new kits in from Dragon and I thought I'd share those with you today. I'll quickly right now show you what the individual uh, models are and then later on in the video we'll open up the, the newest ones and the ones that are about to be released, kind of break down the parts and things for you and let you see inside of them. The first kit we have is the uh, the Six Day War series. Is This is the M3 half track. Uh, it's, which is an American half track, but it's been converted by the Israelis. It has an armored top and it has Nord missiles on it. Uh, just arriving in the United States. We also have the new uh, Six Day War series, the Magok 3 with ERA. Now, it's under the uh, Six Day War series, but this was not in that time period at all. Actually, uh, ERA armor was not invented until the 80s. So uh, this, this vehicle, as cool as it is, would have to represent uh, like Lebanon for time period wise but definitely plan on building this one up because it's just a, a nice vehicle especially with all that extra added on armor all over it and we also have the M60A2 from Dragon this is a uh, another patent series tank that's been converted to have a flamethrower inside of it and then they're just about finishing up their line of 250 uh, half track series this is the 250 slash 4 uh, this has a pair of uh, MG 34's I believe yeah MG 34 machine guns in the back for anti-aircraft and then the last one this is a completely brand new kit this is the M752 uh, tactical ballistic missile launcher from Dragon this is a, another all brand new kit uh, this is actually due to arrive and actually be released this week, so they should be showing up all over the, the United States and all over the world for that matter, if you haven't ever had them. This is cool too because it's, it's a, uh, a mobile launcher, but inside it has the complete launch platform, so we'll be building this up for the month of July as well. So now that I've kind of shown you what the new ones are, we're going to, like I said, we'll open up a few of them and break them apart inside and kind of show you what's inside the box. And I also promised you this was a July update video. We have a few other kits show you this one the uh, the Star Wars uh, Imperial Star Destroyers were finally released in this country and they're released by Ravel this is actually the uh, this Vesda kit that was released a couple months back uh, in Europe and a few other countries but we weren't allowed to get them over here because of licensing so now that Ravel has worked that out we've got these in and this is gonna be another July build very excited about this I'm a Star Wars fan and it's not only really really highly detailed it's also very large too so this will be a great one to build up and hang from the ceiling with the rest of the stuff in here also want to show you a few other new kits also arriving uh, this week is the new kit from Ming this is a Russian BMR 3M armored mine clearing vehicle it's a uh, very very modern day Russian in fact it was just at the Russian arms expo they said in 2015 uh, it's a heavily armored vehicles you can see it has applique armor all over it as well as two big mine rollers out in front so big thick box lots of plastic in it and for you guys who like those kits and have a lot of plastic this one has it in it also arriving this week from TACOM and I actually plan on building one of these uh, are the new M47 patents now you have the two different versions you have the E slash M which you can do some of the uh, Iranian versions as uh, I believe is Egyptian as well as in here the uh, the G version which is probably the one I'll end up building up uh, you can do West German American as well as South Korean so th they're only minor variations inside of them and I'll break these down more as we get closer to the build time because expect a video out of this within the next week or two and finally on this pile is from Ryfield Models is the new uh, M1 Assault Breacher and this is a big heavy uh, once again like mine um, clearing vehicle it's based on an M1 Abrams but it has this really big spade and uh, mine detonating uh, apparatus up in front also has all kinds of block armor all over it another big big box with lots of plastic inside so uh, probably won't get to something like this for a while but uh, it's, it's really cool that it's out. Okay, the first kit we're going to take a look at is the M752 Tactical Ballistic Missile Launcher from Dragon. Uh, what I've done also too is we're going to show you the, the sprues inside of the box here. Also keep in mind too, I've started up my uh, blog again that I will have more detailed copies of all of these sprue shots on there that if you want to go on there and take a look at it I'm gonna put the uh, the address down below it's Andy's Hobby Headquarters Glendale at blogspot.com but I'll have the uh, a link down into the uh, the titles down below 
First thing we're going to look at are some of the parts that make up the hull. Uh, the lower part of the hull is a bathtub style hull, already has part of the sponson in place, as well as a few of the, the, um, the, the arms for the suspension arms on there. And you also have all of these pieces all on it as well. These make up the sides, as well as a little bit other parts of the, uh, the hull, as well as the rear and the front, the inside deck inside as well. And some more parts on that. We also have the uh, the rocket sprue. Gotta show you those. And then the way the tracks are on this is the tracks are length and length tracks, and they also include the uh, the soft rubber plastic for the uh, the pads on it. So you'll be able to cut those out and then just glue those right into place, just like that. And finally, they just have a couple of. Uh, pieces for the wheels, road wheels, things like that. So like I said, if you want to see closer looks on it, go go click on the blog and you'll see uh, images of all that. Okay, and since this is another kit that's going to get built very, very soon, I thought I would just give you a quick breakdown on the, uh, the parts inside here if anyone's interested in seeing what's inside. Now I know this kit did come out just uh, a couple weeks ago, but it is, like I said, a, a very new kit. Now here is the uh, the M48 lower hull, which is a bathtub style hull, as well as the upper hull is all one piece as well. You can see those parts. Uh, when we get to the gun barrel, this is something I appreciate greatly. This gun barrel is slide molded, and it's all one piece all down the line. So there's only just the slightest little amounts we have to clean up on it. You also have these parts right here that are slide molded as well. And then we have this sprue also contains the cupola on it. And this is off their uh, M60 sprue. And you have some uh, more hull parts. This is actually for the Magok 2, and I used to use a few of those parts on it to make this Magok 3. You've got a couple of sprues of wheels and tires. The rubber is separate on this, so we can paint that up separately. That'll make it a little bit quicker for assembly. Then we get to the turret. And then the turret is just what you would expect on it, on the regular M48 kit. And some more, uh, more body parts off the regular M48. Now the kit is 420 parts, so not too, too bad when it comes to uh, building a Dragon kit something that's definitely doable. And finally, didn't open this bag yet. This is the uh, the ERA armor. And this is the part that's going to be a little bit more a uh, little bit more work because you get quite a bit of this block armor. Multiple sprues of it. This is your machine gun sprue, which those look really nice all the individual rounds in the belt as well as all the machine guns. Some more of your applique armor and it's nice the way they've done this now too is they give you all one big piece that you're going to mount to the tank and then you glue the individual blocks and they're all pre-lettered right there so you don't mess it up and just make it go a little bit quicker when you're doing the assembly on it and more machine gun parts and some clear parts for the sprues now for the the ds parts the tracks are a ds uh plastic they have the guide horns already uh fitted into place there and lastly, we have the dust shield, or dust cover, I should say, for the, uh, for the gun, as well as this piece right here. And this, I uh, have to do a little bit of sanding on this to get rid of this little mold mark right here, but this stuff is actually looks pretty good once you get it all painted up. Better than a, what a plastic part would look like. And then, of course, there is just a little photo etch and some wire, and then, of course, the decals, which we'll break below those apart uh, more in depth when we actually go to build the kit showed you those sprues and just like the other kit that I showed you all these sprues will be available for uh, closer inspection on our blog listed below. I thought I would also give you one other little sneak peek of something that's going to be coming up in July and that is going to be our uh, stream diorama. Now this is a diorama that's uh, two feet by one foot and we have our tree that we made last uh, last month as well as we're gonna have some little hills and as you can see right here, this will be a field area with grass. We'll do some more trees in this area, smaller trees. And we'll have like a uh, fake moving water going through the middle here. Now, all I've done so far is just do the foam work, some of the, uh, the plaster on top of it, and then of course putting the grout on there to give it a nice hard surface. So this is all 
pretty pretty strong we don't have to worry about the plaster chipping through also did some tiger tracks right here so we'll be building a tiger later on probably not immediately in July but that'll be something that will be going to put on there so that gives you a little idea of what something else that's going to be uh, coming up in the month of July so I'm gonna end this video kind of quickly uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in but as you can see I've got quite a bit of work ahead of me between the diorama and all these other new kits that are arriving I'd like to thank Dragon USA for providing us with the uh, promotional copies to build up so I can show you guys how nice the kits are. And uh, also, July 20th will be our two-year anniversary of being on YouTube, so we'll have some kind of special thing uh, cooked up for that. And hopefully we should be hitting the 50,000 uh, mark for subscribers. Right around that time it should be. So. Hopefully it will all coincide about the same time. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because I have a lot of other videos coming for you.